Hello, hello. Welcome to Yoga with Shell. I'm Michelle. I'm happy to guide you here today through a fun and version filled yoga practice. If you have two blocks and a strap, that could be really helpful for you today. And be next to a wall, that's also super helpful. If you don't have any of those things, don't be discouraged. There's options and I will give you them all. I'll meet you on your mat. Make sure you have some water and rest as you need. With your strap, focusing on the inhales as you lift up and the exhales as you round down. But in handstand and inversions, it's oftentimes the exhale that lifts this up. So can you flip this and exhale as you lift your arms? You can make it loud, lower down, unless you might scare an animal. <laughs> Inhale here. Exhale, lift. Drive strong arms to the sky. Can you wrap your strap around your hands even more so that your palms are over your shoulders? Strong arms, breathe in, round down, and exhale up like shh. Now gaze between your palms, flex your palms, stretching the wrist one more time. Round down, shift your gaze, and exhale up. Release the strap and just find movement to one side. Rock your chin to the right shoulder, opening up. And then maybe to the other side. Allow the strap to guide you and be um, support for you through your practice. One more round of breath wherever you are. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax your neck, relax the strap. Place that strap by the top of your mat, please. And then come down to your mat. Send your knees out wide, your arms long. And if you have blocks already accessible to you, find two blocks or pillows to stretch your triceps. Send your elbows to your blocks and your palms to the nape of your neck. Just wanna make sure you can see me. Good, breathe in and out. Palms to the nape of the neck, dropping the head in between the arms. Fill up with gratitude here for your strong body, for showing up for yourself. Happy Sunday vibrations. Remember, just like yesterday with those Brittany rolls, it doesn't have to be so serious, right? We can find, um, find faith to get through. We can be okay with falling and we can learn to let go. Let go of tight muscles, let go of anything that we're holding on to that's getting in the way of trying again. This is a perseverance, a weekly perseverance practice, my friends. Breathe in. Breathe out. Plant your palms to the block. Now walk your palms forward. Now stretch your head between your arms with your hands on the block. Can you melt your shoulder blades down even more? Breathe in and breathe out. And friends, just because we are offering a lot of inversions, one more restorative posture. Rise up, send one block to the side, and just find one block underneath your armpit. So you want to lie on your side and then set, um, hook it right underneath your armpit. So you want to rest kind of right elbow down. We've done this before. You want to rest your head on your arm and just be as heavy as you can. You want to move just side to side. You don't want to hold yourself up here. Just side to side rock. Oh man, and find that most tender spot and then just stay there if you can. If it's too much, you can come out of it, but try to stay there for 30 seconds. You can rest your head and we're just opening the delts. Relax your left arm hand in front of you or by your side. Or you can send your left hand to your heart to just set an intention for your strong practice. Close your eyes. An authentic dedication for you. How can you soften? Can you melt? Melt away anything in the way. Bend your 
Breath in, then breath out. I acknowledge this is your weekend, so if you need more rest at any time, you can come to any resting posture. Breathe in, trust your body. Breathe out. 10 more seconds. Slow the rhythm of your heart. And know your mat is there supporting you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good, and slowly rock to the other side. You can just turn, I'm gonna flip so you can see me gently come down. You can have whatever height of the block that you need. I have it like hot dog shape. Just tuck it right underneath your armpit. And if you ever do this in the yoga studio, you might want a towel on it. Um, you know, just being mindful. Left ear on the arm. Let your worries dissipate. Right hand to your heart. Knowing whatever you're going through, you're not alone. You're not alone. Coming back to that I am worthy thought. I am worthy of abundant joy and love. It's important to remind yourself. Even if it all seems good, just to remind yourself. You deserve to be happy. Breathe in. Breathe out. Channel gratitude for this moment right here. Breathing through it. Try to relax as much as possible and melt into that shoulder a little bit deeper. Don't worry, we'll pick up a challenge soon. 10 more seconds. Not that you're worried about it. One more breath in. One more breath out. Slowly rise to a seat. Good. Now that we're ready for a yin class, send your blocks to the side in front of your mat if you'd like. Good, and then rise to the tabletop. Palms underneath the shoulders, knees under hips. Cow pose, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, cat pose, round through your spine. Find movement, good. Inhale the cow pose. Exhale the cat, so good. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Breathe here, lengthening your spine in the cow cat. And no, there are constant options as we get into our creative flow. Move your belly, shake your tail feathers. <laughs> Remember to smile, breathe in any organic movement that you need. Rolling the rib cage, nodding the head. Channel your Brittany, <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Down the tabletop spine. Inhale the cow pose. Exhale, tuck your toes. Turbo dog. So you bend your knees, but shift your weight still forward. So puff up your shoulders. Knees are hovered. Slight micro bend of the elbows. Gaze between your palms. Can you melt your knees a little bit lower? Yes. Lift your chin just slightly. So the fingertips. Breathe here. Building strength. We are for four, three, two, downward facing dog. Tailbone high. Walk out your down dog. Bend one knee, then the next. Spread your palms super wide. Magnetize energy forward. Then roll your shoulders under. So your middle finger is facing forward in line with the sides of your yoga mat. Rotate the shoulders. Now drop your head on your heart a little deeper. It's okay to bend your knees. Bend your knees and then pivot your heels to the left. Pivot so that both heels are down. Gaze under your right shoulder. Inhale the center. Exhale, pivot to the left. Good, breathe under your left shoulder. Down dog. 
Wiggle, wiggle, breathe in. Open mouth, exhale. Good, look between your hands and feet and walk your feet just halfway, not all the way forward. Good, bend your knees as much as you need to get your hands to the mat. And just lift your wrist and roll your wrist with your head heavy. Good, so we want wrist mobility, flip the circles. And then find gorilla, slide your palms underneath your feetsies. Try to focus on gazing to the back of your mat. Relax your head down. And this is a big tip in handstand. We tend to look forward. That's the trick to get our feet up. And then you slowly want to shift your gaze between your hands. That's tucking your chin slightly. So practice that tuck of the chin when we master handstand one day. Breathe in, breathe out. Release your feetsies. Now stay with, um, bend your knees as much as you need so hands are on the mat. And I just want you to reach as long as you can forward with your hands on the mat. And then practice shifting your weight forward into your hands. So rise to your tippiest toes, stack your shoulders over your wrist and gaze between your thumbs. Then slowly rock back. Tent your fingertips and lift your toes so you're on your heels. Good, lengthening through the hamstrings. Two more times like that. Reach forward, tilt weight, stack your shoulders. Exhale, back to your heels. Lift the toes, tent the fingertips. Ooh, that's a deep stretch. <laughs> Reach forward, try to stack forward, 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 tippy his toes. Yes, then lower the heels, lift the toes. Gazing forward, slightly forward. Good. Then pause right here. Lift your right toes high to the sky. Bow your nose towards your knee. Good. Then plant your palms, and I just want you to bend your left knee. So flex your right toes, your hip may drop. Bend your left knee so it's on your belly. Good, then press it up. Keep belly to thigh connection. Bend your left knee. Good, lift up. This is a compression drill. Keep your toes flexed. Try to straighten your leg one more time. Bend your left knee. Exhale, lift your leg. Good, slowly step your right foot behind your left. You're folding at the top with your legs crossed. Breathe in. Maybe walk your hands to the left. Breathe out. Stretch through your hip flexor. Trust your intuition. Good, keep your feet crossed and engage your belly. Lift slowly, rise to stand with your feet in this shape. Lift arms all the way up. Hands to heart. Good, pause right here. Breathe in, lift to your tippiest toes with your feet crossed, hands to heart. Breathe in. Exhale, hands behind your head. Breathe in. Exhale, twist all the way around. What? Twist around, open your elbows, lift your gaze. Elbows wide, breathe in. Exhale, fold all the way down. <sighs> Listen, inhale the halfway lift, tabletop spine. Exhale, sweep your arms back. Stay here. Breathe in. Exhale, fold. We'll call that stool plane. Inhale, stool plane, straight legs. Gaze down. Can you get your arms closer to your hips? Breathe in, shifting more weight forward. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Walk your palms out to high plank pose. Hold your high plank. Strong, connect your energy down. Root through your core, micro bend the elbows. Good. Pop up your shoulders. You're on your tippiest toes. Build strength. You can do it. Breathe through it. Eight more seconds. In four, we'll come to forearm plank and we'll find elevator climbers. Right now, lower for two, then lift. Opposite arm goes down, then press up. Good, strong belly. So good. We're here for four, three, two, one. 
two, we'll stay down in the forearm plank, my friends. Forearm plank, elbows stay underneath your shoulders, palms are spread wide. Good, now send weight to your right elbow. Maybe you stay here, or lift your left arm by your side. Float your left arm by your side. Gaze is forward for four, for three. Other side, try it out. In two, you can always drop your knees, forearm plank. Stay here, spread your palms wide. Right arm sweeps back, like you wanna tap your right thigh. Magnetize your palms down by your side. Here for four. Dolphin in three. Last two, forearms down. Walk your tailbone high. Keep your elbows underneath your shoulders, tailbone high. Good, and we'll find dolphin push-ups. Shift forward, so your chin is over your thumbs. Exhale, down dog. Good, four more. Exhale. Shift forward, and exhale. I know, shift forward, exhale. You can stay right here in dolphin or interlace your palms. Find your head in between your palms. Maybe walk your toes closer to you. If you feel good, find egg pose. Right heel to your glute, left heel to your glute. No need to extend your legs. We're here for three. Last two and one, back to your forearm plank. Whether that works for you or not, hold your forearm plank. We're here for four, three, two, to your belly, to your belly. Palms underneath your shoulders, lift low cobra, head, neck, and chest. Lift, breathe in. Exhale, lower down, slowly rise to child's pose. Knees are wide, arms are long. Surrender your weight between your legs. Bend your elbows, remember that dedication for your practice. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly crawl up to your down dog. Down dog, tailbone high. Big breath in, big breath out. Exhale, step halfway to your mat. Good, plant your palms and rock to tibia's toes. Rock it back. Plant your fingertips to be as toes. Rock it back, toes high. So good, one more time. Rock forward, toes lift. <laughs> Pause and lift your left toes high, standing splits. Gaze to your right knee. Good, now flex your toes. Breathe in. Exhale, step your left toes behind your right. Good, pause in the stretch, breathe here. Or walk your palms over to the right side of your mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift your body, slowly rise with legs crossed. Find your hips square, lift your intention, arms reach up. Shine your biceps by your ears. Good, now send your palms forward. Then send your elbows straight here, right by your shoulders. Breathe here. Exhale, send your hands behind your head, elbows wide, find that back bend. Good, now bend your knees, prepare to pivot. Rise into your tippy toes all the way around. Try to lift up to your tippiest toes. Breathe in. Exhale, back bend, hold your head up. Reach high, exhale, stool plane. Straight legs, <laughs> good, forward fold. Inhale, stool plane. Exhale, forward fold. Stool plane. Exhale, a high plank pose. Amazing effort, my friends, high plank. Hold your high plank. We're building strength, good. Hold for eight seconds. We'll come down to elevator climbers in three, in two, in one, right forearm down, left forearm down, and left hand down, right hand down, then left elbow down. Good, try to swap it out. If this is really challenging for you, no problem, it's challenging, it is. Step your feet a little bit wider or come to your knees for four, 
For three, you'll come down to your forearm plank in two. And one forearm plank. Good, hold your forearm plank, spread your palms wide. If you'd like more support, interlace your palms right away. Now you can play with any variation, but we'll first find down dog, um, dolphin push-ups, so walk your toes high to the sky. Not your toes, your hips rather. This is super challenging. You can stay here, toes a little bit closer, shorten down dog. Stay here, join me in those push-ups. Shift your weight forward, straight spine. Exhale, press away. Three more times, elbows stay in, inhale. Exhale, press. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, press. One more time. Then stay in that dolphin, or maybe find a headstand, walking your palms um, underneath your hairline. Walk forward to bees toes. Maybe one heel comes to glute, belly to thigh. Maybe both, egg pose. Try to stack your hips. No need to straighten your legs. Wherever you are is great. We're here for four. Four and plank in three. In two. Slowly walk back to forearm plank. Hold for four. To your belly in three. Last two, yes. Lower down to your belly. Ha, ah, low cobra. Palms under by your shoulders. Lift your gaze. Exhale, lower down. Take a moment of rest, belly down, Shavasana, gaze to the right. Breathe in. Breathe out, you guys. Amazing effort, you've got this. Breathe in and out. Lift your chin back to center. Send your palms by your side. Lift your chest. Then we're gonna rock side to side. It's left, then right. Left, then right. Chest is lifted. Just waddle side to side. Here for four. For three, come down to your belly. In two. And one, down to your belly. Gaze to the left. Palms shine up. Toes and heels out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Send your chin forward, bend your knees. Capture the outside edges of your feet and kick into your legs for floor bow. Lift your chin, kick for eight, seven, harder, six. High your knees closer for four, for three, for two, and one. Slowly lower down, plant your palms, find child's pose. Tell yourself, yes, you can, head between your arms. Breathe in. Breathe out as you round. And take as much rest as you need throughout this challenging flow. Two more breaths in child's pose. Oh no, my hair tie broke. Uno momento. <laughs> take a sip of water, you guys. find the wall, okay? Now that we're warmed up. So you can watch and move to your wall. You can take the time to try away from a wall. You're going to face your wall and send your feet to the wall with your toes shining to the sky. Take your time. Settle in so you can get situated. You can stay in a tall seat or play with a fold, just folding over your legs. Toes are up the wall. And the thing is, the wall is super helpful to help you build strength and straighten your hips. Breathe here, breathe in, breathe out. Good, then rise. Notice where your hips are. Send your hands to where your hips were. 
And I want you to not face the wall yet. We're going to practice falling. So what I mean is, when you try to kick up, it doesn't matter how high you kick up, start with one leg. It's a little easier than both legs. It's not easy, but gaze between your palms, bend your knee, and just try to hop to the right of your mat. So not really trying to land handstand. You can, of course. Try to hoist up and then hop to the left. Like cartwheel out of it, like my handstand drill from last week. Hands down. Exhale, try to hop to the other side. And it's really challenging, kind of try to cart cartwheel into the handstand. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale, cartwheel to the right. Good, then come back to that forward fold to center. Shake out your wrist. Roll them. Find a crouch and curl. Good, you can walk your knees to the wall. Find camel pose, palms to your back against the wall. Belly to the wall. Press your hips forward, help square your hips, lift your chest. Good, maybe you grab one set of ankles, maybe both. Wherever you're at, breathe for three, small sips of air for two. And one, slowly fold, ragdoll against the wall. So walk your back towards the wall, walk your toes as close to the wall as you can get. You can find a wide-legged ragdoll or a ragdoll. Slide your palms through your legs or outside your feet. Notice your chin tucked here. This is the sensation we want in handstand. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now it's best to walk away from the mall, crouch and curl. It's best to practice handstands with your nose towards the wall rather than against it. But just for the sake of practicing hoisting our hips, let's try to hop against the wall, facing the wall, so you can practice the ninja out to the side. I think that's most important, is falling safely. It's normal to walk your hands forward, and it's okay to tuck your chin and roll. That's the scariest in my opinion. Just trust the cartwheel. I think that's the best way to go, cartwheel. So palms are six inches from the wall, a little closer if you can. Get your toes close to your palms, then kick your right toes back. Now play with shifting weight forward to your palms, lifting the heel, and maybe you kick up. Flex your toes and kick up. And it's okay if it takes you a couple of times. <laughs> if you look more like this, you look glued, you look glued then you're not shifting your weight forward. So really shift your weight forward first. Try the other side and try to hold for 10 seconds. Good, and try, try again. If you notice that you have a lot of space and you stack your limbs, can you bend one foot against the mat or the wall? Bend the other, hold one foot there and maybe play with swapping these feet. Extending one set of toes. After your 10 seconds, come down to your crouch and curl. Take a seat. Take your time. Roll the wrist. Now we'll try with that same variation of the hips. So feet towards the wall, tailbone is flat. Toes are up. Notice where your hips are. Breathe in, arms up. Exhale, fold again. These counter stretches are so important. Practicing those forward folds and those splits, they really help us. Breathe in and out. Good, slowly lift your chest. Notice where your hands are. Place your palms where your fish is. And you may want to walk your mat closer to the wall if it's not there. So listen, this is awkward in layers, climbing up the wall. You want your heels to start on the back of the wall. Palms are shoulder width distance and maybe closer than you think. Middle finger is parallel with the side of your mat. 
Gaze between your thumbs, then slowly send one foot up the wall. You can stay in this crouched position first. Stacking your limbs is pretty scary. Straight arms, press your mat away. You may need to walk out a little bit farther. Next step is to straighten your legs. It's helpful if somebody can tell you if you're straight. Maybe someone who you live with. Gaze between your palms. You want a straight line. This is layer two, press your mat away. Maybe you feel brave enough to lift one leg. Stacking your limbs, flex your toes, feel what hang time is like, then swap it out. Slowly come out of that shape. Good, come to your knees and shake out your wrists. Good, our next, our next feet. We're gonna climb the wall the same way. Palms stay a little distance away from the wall. Maybe try to find a stag handstand. So you can take any of those layers we took before and only if your wrists are ready. So trust your body. If you need more wrist circles, more rest, take it. We'll get back to a flow. Just a little more trial against the wall. The practice is where what we need. Palms underneath the shoulders. Good, this time, hoist your hips up like down dog. And I want you to start with one leg climbing up the wall. So shimmy like standing splits against the wall. So you can stay here and feel this amazing stretch. Try to hit your toes. You can play with the tops of your toes to the wall. Or you can tuck the toes. Breathe in the standing splits. Press your mat away. And breathe out. Good, if your palms feel steady and you're ready to climb the wall, slowly send your feet up. You can start with the straight legs. Your palms need to, may need to come out a little bit farther. Or one leg up. Maybe you play with floating one leg off the wall. Maybe you find stag legs, keep your legs bent, gaze forward, and ninja out when you need to. To the side, to your knees, shake it out. So good, so good, arms up, open and close the wrists. Come down into an embryo pose or child's pose. You can open and close your wrists here, just melt your belly down. Slow your breath. And we'll try the other side. Only when you're ready. First, one more wrist stretch. Send your right knee um, on top of your right wrist. You can come down to your left forearm and rock your knee gently on your right palm. It's like a gorilla stretch with your knee. Other side, where any wrist stretch will do, that serves you better. Now let's enjoy that splits against the wall. And you don't have to do anything I say, it's just an option. First you start with down dog. Good, you can stretch just your tailbone to the wall. Palms are pretty far away from the wall, let's say about two feet. Good, this time left leg lifts up. And every side is different, so play with the standing split against the wall first. This really helps square the hips and straighten the legs. You can stay and enjoy this stretch as long as you need. And feel free to break before you try that stack. If you feel ready to try it on, adjust your palms and start to climb. Again, take your layer. You can stay with bent knees. Once you find comfort comfortable level, stacking your hips, play with the opposite leg up. And I honestly find a stag shape is easier than a handstand. Bend one knee, gaze forward, and maybe you float your left toes. Wherever you're at, ninja out in three, in two, to the side. Let it go, you can step away from the wall. 
the embryo, roll the wrist, a little wrist dance, in and out. Good, interlace your palms, send them to the sky. Lift your gaze, exhale round the spine. Good, one more rest before we add on to a fun, a fun bit, a fun bit. <laughs> a little less work, a little more stretch and more play. Breathe in, strong friends. Breathe out. Take a sip of water. Let's distract our bodies with a little belly up core. Start with traditional crunches. Send your knees high to the sky. Lower down to your back when you're ready. Elbows wide. Strong core ready. Let's lift the chest and lower. Elbows wide. Good. Exhale, lift. Remember. This is what you came for, to build strength. But we need flexibility, wrist mobility, strong arms, and strong hearts. Oh yeah, and that core. So it's a lot, but we have to practice. Together we will get there. Lower and lift. We'll add on three lifts and lower. In four. In three. In two, and one, stay high, lift three, two, one, and lower. It's three, two, one, and lower. <sighs> Keep breathing. And it's the exhale as we lift, lift, and lower. So good, friends, lift, 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 and lower. <sighs> Four more. And lower, cover the toes in two. Tabletop, my friends, begin to lift your legs. It's a lift, a lift, a lift, then lower. Then it's a lift and tap, lift and tap the toes, lift, tap the toes. Chest up, toes down, chest up, toes down. Good. A little tiny lift up. Stay strong. Good. Here for four, for three, for two, and one. Bicycle twist. Start slow for two. Swap for two. To the right for two. Shoulder to thigh for two. Two more slow. Then we'll pick it up. Here we go. It's twist and twist, shoulder to thigh. Yes, Felicia, yes, Meg, yes, Annette, get it. Side to side, shoulder to thigh, shoulder to thigh. You can do it. Lift a little higher. Can you tap your leg? Tap, tap. Oh man, that's hard. Good news, I'm already counting down. Here's four, both sides. Three, both sides. Two, we're gonna pulse to the right. Lift your right arm by your side. Pulse right, right. Reach, hover the left toes for four, three, other side, and two, and one, other side. Pulse like you mean it. Yes, good, for four, for three, for two, and one. Rock and roll, rock and roll. Find tabletop pose. Palms underneath your shoulders. Inhale to cow pose, drop your belly. Exhale to cat pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Send your right toes back. Bend your right knee. Capture your foot. Kick into your palms. You can come down to your right forearm if you'd like. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Now slowly plant your palms. Send your right knee back. And send your right knee towards your right shoulder. Hold it there. Do you want to play with the hurdler? Bend your elbows. Start to lift your back knee. You can keep your toes down, or maybe you play with lifting your left toes. Breathe for four. Breathe for three. Breathe for two. Runner's lunge. Send your palms inside your right foot. Let it go. You can make it a lizard lunge. 
rack open. Good, palms to the earth. Surrender your weight for a moment. Here we go, Pearl Jim. Breathe in, breathe out. Can we come back to that svadhyaya, that self-study, noticing where you are? Ready to move on, feel your strength, persevere. Slowly lift your left knee and send your right arm high to the sky. Open and close your wrist. Gratitude for making it this far. Ooh, open and close your wrist. Breathe fluid strength through your arm, through your leg. Breathe in. Exhale, low skandasana to the back. Low skandasana. Bend your left knee against the heart. Or sink low. You can support your hands or keep them to the mat. Catching your breath, breathing through your strong leg. Hand to heart. Breathe in, use your strong legs and move over to the skandasana the other side. Oh yeah. Right knee bends, left toes to the sky. It's okay if you need help getting up. Don't worry about it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Strong legs to horse pose. Here we go. Try not to touch the earth. Arise. Heels in, toes out. Horse pose. Sway side to side. Elbows to your side. Find the goddess. Good. Sway it out. Open and close your wrists. Hands behind your head. Come to stillness. And send your left elbow towards your left knee. Lean back. Breathe in. Exhale, right elbow to the right knee. Good, stay here. Slowly straighten your back leg and turn this to side angle pose. Open your left arm. Bend your right knee. Inhale to warrior two, open your arms. Expand your yogi wings. Reverse your warrior, right arm high, option for the half bind. Triangle pose, straighten your right leg, reach forward, right arm down. Good, micro bend your right knee, left arm reaches up. And then forward, reach it forward. Right arm comes parallel, forward. Pivot on your toes to extended crescent. Good, reach, hold the light. Inhale the crescent. Exhale, back bend with your bent left knee. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, airplane, launch forward to your right foot. Hands can come to heart. Slowly start to bend your right knee. And take a seat, left knee comes behind the right foot all the way down. Keep your right foot crossed and take a seat. Plant your right palm behind your hip. Lift your left arm high to the sky. And exhale, twist. Gaze over your right shoulder. Lengthen and twist. Lengthen and twist. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now keep your legs as they are. Prepare to rise back onto your right foot. Rising the half moon, you can assist yourself up or try to lift without your hands. Send your right palm down and open up to half moon pose. Half moon, flex your toes, open up. Good, maybe you hover your right hands. We're here for three. Scorpion dive if you'd like. Bend your right knee, warrior two and two. And one, warrior two, bend your right knee, land. High pyramid pose, straighten your front leg, pivot your toes, reach up. Exhale, pyramid, bow over your right leg. Palms come down, nose towards knee. Enjoy this stretch, you can tent your fingertips for support. Ensure your left foot is down. All 10 toes are forward. Halfway lift. 
Exhale, bend your right knee. Handstand kick up if you'd like for eight breaths. Against a wall or not against a wall. Six more breaths. Try to hold for four, for three, for two. Fold all the way down. Halfway lift. Exhale down to tabletop pose. Cow pose. And exhale cat. And you can take more rest if you need, my friends. Or if you'd like, from tabletop, kick your left toes back. Bend your right, left knee. Maybe capture your foot. Lift your chin. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can take a child's pose right here or take your left knee towards your left shoulder. Maybe try on a hurdler. Bend your elbows right cheek to the mat. Lift your right knee. Maybe you hop your right toes. Come and take your runner's lunge. Find restorative posture as you slide your right knee back. Option to come to your forearms. And slow your breath. Know you are stronger than you think. Commit to your other side. You are able. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left hand to your heart to remind you. Finding gratitude. Slowly lift up. Find the strength, my friends. Let's tuck your right toes. Lift your left arm high. Open and close the wrist if you're with me. Breathe in. Exhale, skin down to the back, all the way to the back. Good. Hands to the heart. Or down to the earth. Lift your chest, engage your legs, and try to move Skandasana to the other side. Oh yeah, <laughs> toes are high, heart is lifted. Breathe in, breathe out. You can use your hands or try to lift up with the strength of your legs to goddess. Oh, leaning back, elbows by your side, sway goddesses side to side. You are stronger than you think. Feel the rhythm of your hips, the strong body. Good, slowly bend your left knee and slide your right heel back for warrior two. Reverse your warrior, lift your left arm. And exhale, triangle pose. Hinge forward, left arm down, right arm high. Good. Slowly lift your left arm as well. Shine both palms forward. Pivot your right toes forward. Bend your left knee. Extended crescent. Inhale, lift your crescent. Arms up. Exhale, back bend, double lunge. Inhale, up. Exhale, airplane pose. Launch forward. Right toes high. Pointing down, hands to the heart, slowly bend your left knee and slide your right knee underneath your left for easy seated twist. Such amazing effort, my friends. Plant your right, left palm down, right arm lifts. And exhale, easy seated twist, gaze over your left shoulder. You can roll your right wrist here. Breathe in. No, you're almost there. You're almost there. Breathe in. Breathe out. Find the strength of your legs. Toes are forward. And try to lift without your hands to 
half moon. Shine your right palm to the sky, lift your right toes. Option for scorpion dog, maybe you capture your foot. Maybe you hover your left palm forward. Breathe here, we're here for three, two, bend your left knee, warrior two. Oh man, you are so strong. Lengthen through your arms. Spine your palms overhead, high pyramid pose, straighten the front leg and pivot your foot forward for pyramid square hips. Lift your chin up your chest, chin down, then dive into that pool with straight legs. You can keep your prayer gripper. Find your hands to the side of your foot. Your right heel is down, all ten toes are forward. Chin to chest, belly to thigh. We're here for three. Halfway lift in two. And one, bend your left knee, plant your palms. You can take crow pose if you're sick of handstand. You can take any variation. Bend your left knee and maybe you hop. Eight breaths. Maybe you hold. Where is your gaze? Is it past your fingertips? Puff up your shoulders. Press into your tippy toes and drive your heel up. Two more breaths, my friends. Wherever you're at, slowly. Make your way all the way down. Halfway lift. Exhale, airplane your arms. So good, forward, full. Two more like that, lift your arms. Breathe in, exhale, full. This time, bend your knees. Send your arms back, interlace your palms, lift your heels, and bow. Drinking bird, stretch your arms, bow. Belly to thigh, breathe for four, for three, last two. Good, full crow pose, last inversion of class. Plant your palms, elbows to knee. Look forward, gaze forward. Hold and breathe for four, for three. Chaturanga in two. Step or float, chaturanga. <laughs> You can duck your belly. Downward facing dog. Shift forward, high plank. Lower all the way down to your belly. Good. If you have trouble binding, you may want your strap. Palms underneath your shoulder. Lift head, neck, and chest, cobra pose. Breathe in, let it go. Lower down. Lift your chin and chest, send your arms by your side and go side to side. Feel the twist, side to side for four, for three, belly down in two, and one, gaze to the right. Breathe in, breathe out. You can open and close the wrist. Come back to center. Good, this time palms underneath your shoulders. Send your left elbow in front of you. Shine your palm parallel with the top of your mat, left elbow underneath shoulder. Gaze over your right shoulder. Bend your right knee and pull half frog, your toes towards your glute, heel to glute. Spin your palm forward, palm shines forward, elbow high. So this is a lot right here. You can stay here, play with a deeper twist, listen. Slowly shimmy your left hand to hold your right foot. Bend your left knee, float it up. Can you see it? Reach your right hand towards your left toes and try to kick, kick, kick. Gaze over your right shoulder. We're here for three. Last two. Let it go. Belly down Shavasana. Gaze to the left. If you're like, what just happened? <laughs> That's normal. Breathe in. Breathe out. Send your chin forward, palms underneath your shoulders, right forearm down, right palm shines to the left. Bend your left knee, 
Left heel to glute, your palms, fingertips stay forward. Flip your palms so it faces forward, elbow to the sky. Gaze towards your left elbow. You can stay here, start to walk your right elbow towards the left. Maybe you capture the left foot with your right hand. Stay here or lift your right foot, can you see it? Capture your, your right toes, kick and twist. Good. Twisted locust, breathe in. Exhale, gently release. This time, chin is forward, arms are forward. Cross your thumbs, prone stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. Walk your palms back to your knees. Rise to sit on your knees. Lift your arms overhead, cross your thumbs. Half tortoise pose, bow, straight spine. Palms all the way down, forehead to the mat. Try to keep your elbows lifted, swing your fingertips a little farther. Good, and slowly lift up. Send your right knee forward for half pigeon. Lift your chest and fold into your pigeon. Palms can go forward again, or you can join me to twist again. Left palm underneath the right shoulder. Your right arm can reach up and over, or can chill by your side. For even more, bend your left knee. Capture your left foot with your right hand. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift your chest. Send your left leg long. Gaze towards your left toes. Lift your arms up and fold over your left leg, nose towards your knee. Slowly send your left leg in front of your right. Lazy half pigeon swap. Lift your chest, then give yourself time in this pinch. It can be any different pitch that you want with support or figure four. Option for prone extension, or slide your right arm underneath your left. Maybe you find your foot behind you, just an option. Slowly slide your right leg long. Lift your chest and bow over your right leg. Lift your chest and list an option to be close to a wall for plow pose against the wall. So you want to be about two feet from your wall, lie on your back. First, hug your knees to your chest. Send your legs up the wall and you can stay here or send your legs up the actual wall. Stay here or find your shoulder stand. Send your palms underneath your back. Maybe you walk your toes down the wall for your plow or maybe plow splits. Send your left toes close to the ground and extend your right toes as far away from you as you can. Stacking your hips over your shoulders. Reach and lengthen nose to knee. Swap it out if you did. That single leg stretch.
If you're in pinning pose, as your jam, squeeze your knees around your ears. And slowly unfurl your spine. All the way down. Knock your knees to your chest. Good. Gentle twist to the right. Rock your knees to the right. Last few moments. Chin over your left shoulder. Any leg variation will do. Send your knees back to center and swap your knees to the left, gaze to the right. Just close your eyes. Listen, hug your knees to your chest. You can take Shavasana or join me for this last bit of stretch. Just rock and roll, rock and roll to um, an easy boat seat. Send your palms shining forward. Cross your right knee over your left knee here. Good, and send your palms behind your hips. Can you walk your belly to your thigh? Press it forward and notice that deeper stretch with straight arms. Rock your chin over your right shoulder if that feels good. Next stretch. Rock your right ear to your right shoulder. Feel that stretch through the back. Good, then swap out your feet, left ankle over the right. Chin or chest presses towards the right knee. Palms can be down or tented fingers. Rock your chin over your left shoulder. Left ear can come to the shoulder to feel surrender. Slowly send your legs forward, we'll mass fold. To feel belly to thigh connection, lift your arms all the way up, open and close the wrists of love and gratitude, breathe in. Exhale, fold, reach for calves, ankles, or toes. And as if you could stay here forever, relax your belly on your thighs. It's okay if your palms slide down. and unfurl your spine all the way down to Shavasana. For a moment, your knees can be bent. Knock your knees in for low back support. Supta Baddha Karnasana, palms to your thighs, hand to your heart and belly. Slow your breath, I'll guide you out. At least eight breaths, okay, at least eight. The magic count number. Notice your heartbeat. Slow your breath. Send your breath to any tight spots in your body. Shoulders, glutes, eyebrows, cheekbones. Relax, relax, relax. Stay here even longer if you have the time. If you're ready to move on to a nap, maybe. <laughs> Send your arms long, your legs long, and open and close your wrists, wiggle your toe tips. 
Finding gratitude for your strong body. Slowly rock to your favorite side for a moment. Rest your head into your palms. You did it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Knowing the, the prize is in the process. Practice, practice, practice. Let your palms rise to an easy seat only if you're ready. Hands to heart, nice strong. Thank you for joining me, friends. That was challenging. Uh, make sure you get ample wrist stretching, so continue the movement. And know that the wall can be there to support you and also to challenge you. So um, notice how you feel. Make sure that you rest and find extra stretching. And stay tuned for my handstand drills that I will be giving 15-minute um, videos to give you next challenge before next week's inversion class. Namaste.